Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. So a few days ago we got the second episode of Prime Empire and I just want to go through it and just talk about what happened and my overall thoughts on it. This episode is titled Dire Island and let me just say I am so happy the season is getting off to a strong start as opposed to the past season and starting off with filler is definitely not the way to go. In my opinion, a season needs to have a solid start and a solid end. I think those are definitely really important, and this season is already checking off that first box. Anyways, as for the episode itself, it picks up right where the last one left off, with the ninja coming into the room and wondering what happened to Jay. Luckily though, there is a handy dandy security system nearby, so the ninja access it and soon find their answer. And to get more information, they go after the mechanic who's been arrested as of the last episode, and he gets interrogated. Unfortunately, the mechanic is super cryptic and doesn't really give any answers. Instead, he just rambles about how Unagami's plan is just beginning. Despite not getting any new info, Zane reveals that Prime Empire was made by Milton Dyer. The ninja board the bounty and set a course for Dyer Island, and fun fact, this is actually the first time the bounty is used since questing for quests. Once they get there though, there are a ton of different traps they have to go through, all part of Dyer's security system, and these include robot dogs and evil statues and more. It's no match for the ninja though, and they overcome the challenges easily. And then they're greeted not by Milton Dyer, but by his legendary assistant who's a guy named Bob the intern, and so he lets them inside the mansion, and from there we get a bit of backstory about Milton Dyer. As we know, Dyer was the creator of the game, and he was super enthusiastic about it. However though, his overseers, his bosses, were not impressed with the game, and that's likely because of the modifications he added, which would actually let the people go inside the game. Or at least, that's what I think the modifications do. And from there, Dyer's game was cancelled, and he was fired from the company too. He got really upset about this, and according to Bob the intern, he decided that he'd get revenge. And just a side note, please 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 do not make this Asphero 2.0, I am sick to death of revenge at this point. Bob also shows a clip of Dyer advertising the game, but suddenly a white light appears and Dyer walks towards it. Given the whole revenge motive, the episode ends off with the ninja deducing that Milton Dyer is actually Unagami. And here's where I'm basically like, wait, what? I myself also thought that Milton Dyer was Unagami, but revealing the season's big plot twist in the second episode is unheard of. I think this definitely raises the question of, again, is Milton Dyer Unagami? And if not, who exactly is Unagami? And again, I did actually think Dyer was Unagami, but after seeing this, I think this is an attempt to mislead the audience, or rather throw them off. No, I don't think it's the truth, but again, an attempt to throw us off to make the real plot twist even more shocking. As for who Unagami is, or what happened to Dyer, I honestly don't know, this episode is doing a great job at covering up this mystery. Or maybe they are telling the truth, which I think is unlikely, but not impossible, maybe Dyer could still be Unagami. As for the actual episode itself, I think it was actually pretty good, I mean, again, having a strong start is really making a difference. And yeah, I'm definitely hyped for the third episode, and when these two episodes release in English on, I think, Saturday, I will likely be reviewing them. Anyways, that's about all for today. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone ever you know. Let me know what you guys think about episode 2, and I will see you next time.